Well guys, we're today here at Wacon in Penticton, BC, here to see the undisclosed cab that we revealed a few weeks ago. So come check this out. As Eric mentioned, we're here at Wacon. My name is Peter. Ever since I started back in May, this has been my main project, working on this cat. Obviously sitting in it today, pretty exciting. Just came out of primer recently and we're sort of finishing up the interior panels and getting everything all buttoned up. But I thought I'd give you guys a little tour of what's going on in here. Sitting in the center, obviously. So to my right side, we're gonna have a passenger seat over here. To my left side, we're gonna have a side console that's gonna have some storage some cup holders, obviously very important part of a truck, and some HVAC. That HVAC is then gonna run into our electronics cabinet behind me. This electronics cabinet is gonna have some huge glass panels so you can see all the inner workings of our hybrid electric system, which is gonna be super cool. But it also keeps it securely, safely away from the driver. There's gonna be sensors that let us know when the door has been opened and shut down the entire electrical system to make sure anyone working on the vehicle is safe and not at risk of hurting themselves. Um, coming from that electronics cabinet, we have this roof with open space up top. Um, that allows us to run wires, HVAC, all the way to these front consoles. In these roof consoles, we're gonna have our screens up here for controls and vital information from the hybrid system. Then we're gonna have our radio, CB radio, a little bit more storage up there, but yeah, super nice, super easy to see, able to grab it from the driver's seat. Then coming down to your center console, obviously you're gonna have our steering wheel, steering columns right there. We're gonna have all our control buttons right here, nice and easy to access for the driver, um, air brake controls and whatnot. And then obviously one of the unique features of this truck is the dozer style doors over here. So the doors are actually not on the side of the vehicle, but the front. So they push out frontwards like a, like a dozer does it. Um, that gives us really actually easy access to get into the cab from the front. Um, you're not fighting against the seats and stuff to get in. So it's a pretty unique truck, but we're really excited to see it come together here in the next few weeks and can't wait to show you guys the finished product. This is what we got right now. She's uh, sitting here in primer and yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. This customer was really pushing the center seating, the forward visibility. They wanted a cab over because they have so much stuff behind the truck that they needed to move that cab forward and able to operate their body equipment but we've got great visibility out the front. Yeah, we figured that now we're in the stage where we've got it all framed in, we're starting to put the side pieces on and it's starting to look more like a cab. So we thought this is the perfect day to give it a little inspection. It's nice being able to see it from 3D files to something that's really here that you can touch and knock on is honestly, it's, it feels good. My name is Tara. Tara O'Connell, I work for Wacon Manufacturing and I am a partner in the business. We do a variety of stuff, typically industrial manufacturing, but we have a lot of solutions that we offer within that. Design for manufacturability is a big piece of what we do. We also do contract manufacturing where we work very closely with our clients. They have a product and we'll take care of the build. Um, we also do prototype work where we offer a lot of like the engineering support as well as we plug and play that into our facility. I suppose the main essence is we work with steel and we turn it into a really cool product. We do everything in-house here, so we're a complete one-stop shop. And I think that's one of the reasons why our customers like working with us, because we really do take care of everything from start to finish. We do it all. You guys know we're trying to get as many things made here in North America as we possibly can. That's including the cab, so Kevin here from Wacon was instrumental in helping design, engineer, and build this cab. Yeah, it's been great working with the guys at Edison. They're uh, super receptive, forward thinking. They got lots of great ideas. So it's been, been a good experience so far. And hopefully we can deliver a great product to them. Ah, it's looking pretty good so far. Kevin here has been making sure that we can implement the changes the customer wants. So I guess we'll find out here in about a half hour what they actually think <laughs> once they see it in real time. Sounds good. So it's a little different, eh? Once you go from like a 3D model to seeing it in person. It looks a bit different in the shop than it does in the computer, that's for sure. Basically, Peter sent me uh, his CAD model 
which was, you know, the outside profile, shape, shell, a lot of the interior features. And then uh, I did some redesign on how we wanted to do the sheet metal forming and how we want some of the edges and the corners to come together just for fabrication and welding purposes. And then we had weekly meetings discussing details and challenges as they came up. Um, you know, just sharing CAD back and forth and figuring out what's going to work for, for Edison in terms of integrating all the components and what's going to work for us in terms of fabrication and being able to get it done properly. So it's a pretty, like in terms of design projects, it was pretty standard, a little more complicated than most, but you know, the process is the same whenever we approach something design-wise like this. The windows were challenging. Definitely getting that rolling window to work inside the envelope that you guys wanted. Um, with keeping the visibility, space constraints, and you know, making space for the motor and getting that all working. And then some of the sheet metal stuff was a little challenging, just making sure we're gonna have corners come together properly, keeping weight down, so we're trying to make stuff as thin as possible, adding bends for rigidity, that kind of thing there. So, you gotta think about every single part, nothing's really standard, so everything is new. All right, so we met with our customer here. They came and had a look. We sat in the cab. This is one of the important things though about building locally and doing this is that we can come to the stage where it's just a skin. We can have a look. One of the things when we sat in there, we were worried about that visibility out of this. One of the issues we had about putting the increased visibility in here is that there's a window regulator and a piece that comes in here. So we can't have this a big window because of all that hardware. So then we were thinking, well, what if we made this the window, brought this back, and the window slid back, that would get, get rid of the um, need to have that window regulator. So they had one that was out here. This is a different one, obviously ours will be custom, but it gives you an idea. That window essentially just slides back like that, slides forward, and that allows this glass area here to increase the driver visibility. It's gonna be weird. I've driven Topsy a bit now. It is definitely weird to go from a traditional truck cab to where you're sitting in the middle. Anything we can do to make the operator a lot more comfortable with the new center seating, I think is a win. And I think this is gonna be a cool improvement. Obviously this is just held on there right now. So this is the chance. We'll take this out. We'll work on a little bit of redesign. They'll work on finding a window like that. We'll make some changes. And I think overall it was a great visit with the customer. So one of the questions we had was, do we need a window? And they're like, what if we just put in some driver vents like for fresh air? What if you're backing up, you've got a spouter and someone's yelling stop? What if somebody blows a rank fart in the cab and you've got to clean that out? All of these things are critical features that we need to be talking about. We needed a slide window. This is a great thought process in the morning. We went through all the options. How do we make it bigger? Do we need the slide? Can we just make it all glass? What about fresh air? What about hearing? So we'll take this center pole out here. There's a center post that goes here to here, which means that we can also run a post like this. So we're gonna increase the structure there for event of a forward collision. And we're gonna have a window that slides all the way back into here. So pretty awesome.